Is that gonna fit everyone? Yeah, easily. 12 customers total. How do they turn a profit? 12.50 a head, that's how. What are we eating, a Rolex? First, I want to say thank you for chatting with me, and uh, I really enjoyed the film. And I would, I love how it excoriates kind of uh, dilettantes and privilege, and it investigates class. And I wonder, Nick, if you would talk a little bit about uh, how some of that is seen through your character, who's a, a foodie who can't, you know, when it when it comes down to it, really doesn't know what he's what he's doing. Yeah, Tyler is someone who's so desperate to be accepted into that world. And I think in many ways he he's lonely and he gets kind of slightly brainwashed into this cult somewhat by by Chef Slowick. And this is probably for him, it's a, probably a restaurant that he's been he's been wanting to go to for years and years and years. He's saved up. This is the biggest night of his life. And He's prepared meticulously in terms of like, he knows what what all the ingredients are. He knows exactly how things are made, all the gadgets in the kitchen. But then gradually, even though this is like the most important night of his life, it just gradually starts to unravel and get picked apart by Chef Slowick and and, and by Margot not playing her part and, and being the perfect date. And so it's it all crumbles around him essentially. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and. Anya, I, your character is really important. She's the pivotal piece of this film, really, because Chef has this idea of us versus them, and mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're with the the service industry uh, by virtue of your your being there. And um, I wonder if you would talk a little bit about how the film investigates class in that way. Absolutely. I mean, I think Chef Slowick is on a revenge war path and I mean Mark described me or Margot the other day as a fly in the ointment which should be um insulting and yet I think it's like pretty accurate in terms of the way that chef feels about her the whole thing with the haves and the have-nots is for the have-nots there's a, a massive resentment specifically in this industry it's because they're pouring so much love into what they do and the haves in this particular film are so blinded by their entire privilege and yeah. don't, they're not there for the right reasons. They're there to boast. They're mm -hmm. there to flaunt their privilege to other people. They're not there to enjoy the food. So yeah, I think we're definitely skewering the haves in this situation, but hopefully by the end of the film, I think they all come to an understanding mm -hmm. and, you know, understand why they're there really. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, also, I, I wanted to just ask you about that scene. I, I thought it was kind of brilliant when the men run off, um, or they're forced to so run funny. off for their transgressions uh, against women, and the women get to have that course. But then at the end, that's really the only punishment uh, is that they were they had to run off for a bit. I wonder if you would talk a little bit about uh, how the film takes on the I I think the idea that the men aren't really very punished for uh, supposed transgressions. Does that make sense? Yeah, um, I, I had to think about it that way because there's really no other um, punishment other than they have to run off in that moment. And I think that's actually quite accurate. Well, it's funny because it's deeply emasculating. And mm -hmm. when you're watching it, it's sort of, it's completely turning on its head, the idea of yeah. the brave Oh yeah, they're all pathetic. Man, they're I mean, it's, pathetic, it's that pathetic, that pathetic with a and capital then, P. And then once the men have all gone, yeah, we are all... go back into the restaurant and have like not a nice meal, but there's suddenly there's a, a warmth and an understanding yeah. and acceptance between them. I don't know yeah. why I'm talking about. No, 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 no. But this but is great. The scene is. Yeah, I mean, I think um, listen, equality is possible. It is only possible through slow, consistent pressure forward. And we just cannot afford to not hold the line. So I do think that there is an element of potentially chef understanding that, you know, he he deserves to be punished in that yeah. instance um, by a sous chef. But yes, I, I agree with you. I think um, it's gonna take a, a little bit before um, things are completely equal. Mm -hmm.